Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ryan Sims from CG Hacks and today we're going to be talking about a quick way to retouch your images that will hack your workflow, allowing you to retouch more in less time. See you in Photoshop. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. We're continuing our video from last week. Remember last week we talked about frequency separation. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. But frequency separation, how we use that technique. And so this week we're basically doing the same thing, but I'm gonna show you a much faster way to do this. And the main reason why it's gonna be faster is because I went ahead and made the action that you're gonna be able to download with this video. So when this video is over with, you can go to the description and download this action. So let's go ahead and get into this technique. I don't really have a name for this technique. It's just the quick retouch technique. <laughs> so basically this technique is gonna do several things. It's going to separate your small details from your medium details and your large details. And it's just gonna allow you to brush those effects in. So let me explain a little bit more what I'm talking about. Let's zoom in to our model's face real quick. And so as we are looking at her face, you can see you have little tiny details, like little bumps in the skin. They're just gonna be a little bit tinier more fine-tuned then you have maybe some medium details like this little line that's like right here where her eye bags are maybe that would be considered like a medium detail and then you have larger details which are going to be like the transition between highlight and shadow right here in her eye and there are other areas where this is more visible as well um, you know shadow versus highlight here that might be considered more of a large detail maybe the little divot in her chin here maybe more of a medium so i'm basically going to break down this image in several different layers and then you can just paint in the effect so let me just go ahead and explain that so i do this technique in multiples of three nine being the lowest and 30 being the highest maybe 18 21 that kind of being the mid-range let me break it down first we're going to duplicate our layer twice so I'm gonna hit Control J twice. And this is gonna be our small details layer. So on this top layer, I'm gonna go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I'm gonna blur that at a pixel radius of nine and then hit Enter. And then from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Image, Apply Image. Right up here on Layer, we're gonna to go to Layer 1. All of these settings are going to remain the same. Blending mode, subtract, scale 2, offset 128, hit OK. Just like in our previous video with frequency separation. And then we're going to go over to blending mode. Change that blending mode to linear light. And after we change that to linear light, we're going to go back up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur again. And this time, instead of going to nine, we're gonna divide that by three. What is nine divided by three? It's three. So I'm gonna type in three and hit enter. And what it has done, you can see, it's kinda of got this nice blurred out effect over the entire image. Now we don't want it over the entire image. We just want it in selected areas. But it's really kinda of taken some of those fine, smaller details and kinda of smoothed them out just a little bit. And so what I want to do is I'm gonna take these two layers, I'm gonna highlight them both, hit Control G. I'm gonna rename this layer as nine, or in parentheses, small or fine details, something like that. That way we know what it is. And then I'm just gonna hold the Alt key down and click right here on this mask to throw a black mask on it. And that way, all of that effect is hidden and if i want to jump around i can probably do the same thing for the medium sized details we'll probably just say 21 is a good number for that so i'm gonna hit Control shift alt e stamp everything together and once again duplicate that layer by hitting Control j and this time instead of nine i'm gonna blur this top layer by 21. so i'm gonna go up to filter blur gaussian blur 21 Hit OK, same as before, go up to Image, Apply Image, right here under Layer, I'm gonna click right there, make sure it's clipped on to Layer 2 this time, hit OK, same as before, Blending Mode, Linear Light, I'm gonna go back up to Filter, back to Blur, back to Gaussian Blur, 
And instead of 21, we're going to divide that by 3. What's 21 divided by 3? It is 7. So we're going to hit 7. There we go. And now this time, like before, you see this smoothed out filter over the entire image, only this time it's a little bit more of these medium size details. And so we're going to go ahead and highlight that layer. Control G, merge them together. Go ahead and rename this one as 21 or medium details. And go ahead and hold the Alt key down and throw a mask on that as well to hide that effect. And then one more time, we're going to hit Control Shift Alt E, stamp everything together, Control J to duplicate. And this time we're going to blur it by 30. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. That's going to be our highest multiple of three that we're going to use. Hit OK. And then we're going to go back to image, apply image. Under layer, clip that to layer three. Hit OK. Change blending mode to linear light. Go back up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And this time 30 divided by three is 10. And there you go, hit OK. And this time you can see, again, with the filter covering the entire image, but now the uh, transitions, the bigger transitions between highlights and shadows have been smoothed out. So let's go ahead and take those two layers, hit Control G. We're gonna rename it as 30 or large details. Hit enter and now hold the alt key down, click on the mask to throw on a black mask. And now there is our effect. So real quick, let me just paint over the mask of each one of these layers to really kind of give you an idea of what they do. So let's start with our fine our details or our small details at nine. This is gonna cover your small blemishes like right over here on the cheek. I'm just gonna paint with a white brush at 100% just to show you real quick what it does. I'll do the same thing over here. Maybe these little eye bags right here. I will say that it's the, the small details that I normally use the most uh, just because I find them very useful, especially in closer up headshots like this. And so let's just do a little before and after. That's before, that's after. You can already tell it is really smoothed out the small details of this image. So let me turn that off just for a moment. I'm gonna go up to my medium sized details and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna paint over the details of this image one more time. Same area, show you before, after. The main difference in this, in the medium sized details is that you can see the shadows and highlights have been affected as well. Her face overall has been smoothed out uh, not just with the details, but also with some of the tones and transitions. So let's look at nine. This is nine. You can see you've got a lot more fine details. And then 21 with the medium details, it's been smoothed out a lot more, especially in this little shadow area right here. That seems to be a lot smoother as well. Now you want to be careful. I just want to make this note. You want to be careful. Sometimes it's not a good idea to stack these. So if you're going to run nine over a certain area, it may not be a wise idea to run 21 over it at the same time because then those bumps start to come back. It starts to like duplicate the filtered effect and that's really not what you want. You want to kind of be a little bit more selective with where you paint this effect in. And we could probably even go right up here between the, uh, the eyebrows and the nose and get that area. Let's do nine on this left eye and let's show 21 on this eye over here. You can see the difference, right? Like we're starting to affect a lot of the transitional tones in this eye, whereas this one, they're a lot more intact because it was more of the finer details with the, the nine small details layer. So more than likely, I'm gonna undo that and go back to nine and then just kind of paint that in there. That way we maintain those tones between like say the eye shadow smoothing out into the skin you got a nice fade there and we want to keep that whereas 21 would probably end up smoothing that out way too much and we don't want that effect there 30 i don't use 30 a whole lot just to be honest with you but i always keep it just in case 
if you want to smooth out big areas the problem with that is they have to be very selective right if you are smoothing out a certain area like say of highlights and transitions and you start getting over to the edge then you're going to start affecting that as well so you just got to be careful if you don't want that smoothed out by the hairline then don't use that maybe use something like you know 21 or 9 instead now I have broken this action down to be even more detailed than that we have got 9 12 15 18 21 24 uh, 27 and 30 just for your experimentation and that is ultimately the effect it's just the smaller details your smaller multiples of three like 9 12 15 things like that are going to deal a little bit more with your small details the pimples the little tiny divots in the skin your 18 21 24 that's going to kind of be the range where you're dealing more in the uh not just the small details but also the transitions in skin tone some of the larger details like in the 27 30 area i don't really use them a whole lot but there are times where it is relevant if you're smoothing out uh, skin tonal transitions best thing to do is just download the action it's free went ahead and broke it down to all the multiples of three in that area of 30. so it's basically a quick retouching filter that will deal with different levels of detail i hope this action can hack your workflow and that's really what we're all about at cg hacks is hacking your workflow so that you can get more done in less time get in photoshop have fun with it experiment around hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one and be sure to comment in the comment section about what you'd like to see in future videos and until next time create more say less stay creative